We're only three days away from the Huskers' first games of the NCAA tournament. So that means it's crunch time if you're traveling to see them play. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson joins us with details on what it would cost you to cheer on the Huskers. Mackenzie? Yeah, for many fans, it was a no-brainer that they would be traveling to support the teams. But whether you're headed to Memphis or Oregon, it's not going to be cheap. It's just to see it red. But Nebraska, I've been alive for 40-some years. We travel everywhere for every reason. A whirlwind of a season for both the men and women of Nebraska basketball. Three court storms, 46 games won, and two tickets punched for the March Madness Tournament. Fans are hoping to recreate the feeling of PBA on the road this week as the Husker women travel to Corvallis, Oregon, and the men head to Memphis. Michael Ostick says this is the moment many fans have been looking forward to for a decade. I think every fan is the same way. They're excited to see what we can do. They've been waiting for this for a long time and just see what Fred and the boys can, can take care of down there. But even the most diehard fans might cringe at the amount it will cost to make your way to the game. We checked plane tickets from Lincoln to Memphis and Corvallis, and the totals are around $1,000 per person. Ostick says he had miles saved up to use for flights, but many of his other friends will be driving to Memphis to save money. And for those of you wanting to put the money toward food or a hotel room instead, this was his advice. Drive, take a bunch of buddies, <laughs> uh, figure out how you're going to be able to get there because plane tickets are astronomically expensive. Um, me and a couple of my guys who work for me here, we were just kind of playing around a little bit during a break this afternoon, looking at different hotels that were down there and different ways to travel as far as flights and stuff down there. Everything is there's a lot of zeros behind the number of what it's going to cost to get there, stay there, and go to the game there. Many of the hotels that Austic was looking into are sold out of rooms already. We checked Airbnbs, which seem to still have some affordable options available this weekend. For Austic, he says he would have gone no matter what, and he'll travel to watch each of the games as long as the Huskers stay in the tournament. You know, who knows what's going to happen, and you take a shot, you go there, and you know, what if we do that? What if we do the unthinkable and we're in the Sweet 16 in Dallas? next weekend. I'm betting a lot of us that are going to be in Memphis will see each other in Dallas too. <laughs>The men play on Friday at 5.50 and the women play at 9.30. Let us know if you're planning to, planning to go and send us videos of your trip on our now local news app.